Howdy folks, it's Andy Q, bike farmer. Uh, this is the introduction video for my YouTube channel that basically went live this morning with my first upload being successful last night. I called it the pilot episode. Uh, I learned that I say um a lot and you know, so I'm gonna work on that. Um, this is my garage at the bike farm here in Southern Wisconsin. Where you can see we still have snow on the ground. We got a melting morning. It's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty warm out here in my uh, hoodie. It's starting to get cold, I guess. Um, anyway, I put my car in there usually. I got it back here now. Uh, Tourag diesel. Very nice. I'm really glad I bought that. Anyway, um, we load this up with our used bikes in the summer, and that's our used bike showroom. We'll open up both these doors, and it makes a nice little kind of outdoor used bike showroom. Um, there's the bike shop behind me and the bike mobile, the machine that got it all started. You know, I told myself for 25 years that I couldn't make a living fixing bicycles on my own. I always thought that shop life, being a mechanic, an hourly mechanic at a bike shop was the only way especially in this small town, you know, it's about 6,000 people and I'm 11 miles from Trek headquarters. So everybody in town that is a cyclist is pretty much associated with Trek and they have all the resources they need. Um, pretty hard to ha have a, a retail establishment compete with all the employee purchases and everything that are available through Trek headquarters. Um, but I was able to get a giant account right away. So I'm a giant dealer. They're happy to have a shop 11 miles from Trek. But this is uh, what made it all possible, is the bike mobile, thebikemobile.com. I run this in Dane County, which is Madison, Wisconsin, and the surrounding communities. Um, people go online and schedule an appointment online. I pretty much only do tune-ups. You know, we're limited to what we can do out of the van. Um, tune-ups are my specialty. Used bike refurbishing. Um, I really like Trek hybrids. That's my, uh, my favorite, because they're easy. But uh, you can see here, I got my... Uh, tool bench and tools on the wall. I've got a bike stand up here. Um, when the battery is not dead, um, things are pretty dormant in the winter, as you can imagine. Um, I got some lights on the ceiling, so this lights up nice. Um, carry some basic parts. You can see in here, I got a compressor, um, tires against the wall here, some wheels, you know, the basic wheels in case somebody's got some problems but here you know i got cassettes and tubes and grip tape and pedals and tubes and whatever i think i said tubes a couple times there i do a lot of changing the tubes um but uh yeah that's what she looks like from the back uh you know it's a 2017 mercedes sprinter there's the old bike mobile um, that i retired a couple summers ago and uh, that's my camper van now, which is pretty nice. Uh, maybe someday I'll do a video on, on that and get some tips. Um, but yeah, that's me. Um, just as my, this is just as my COVID hair was growing out. I knew that I'd end up growing it out and kind of have some wings under my hat. I wear a gray hat a lot. Um, so I put, uh, you know, I added a little bit here and up here to show that my hair's a little longer. <laughs> uh, um, you know, little Team USA Raleigh going on up here. That's been up there for years. I can't believe it hasn't fallen off. Um, I can't tell you how many customers have come wanting to buy this puffy. But, you know, these colorful bikes that, you know, they just, there's such a small market for them. But there's a couple Schwins up there. I mean, they're nice and everything, but um i got this guy here this old antique handmade tandem thing it's really got a cool patina this is the garden it's a beautiful garden when uh i mean in the spring you'll see it um and then i tore all this out and made a micro prairie so that's all native grasses and plants um so i'm trying to attract a bunch of birds and bees and you know all that um i don't know if you can see Old man Wicket, we buried under that tree, so we made a sign for him that says Wicket's tree. The kitty. You'll meet the kitties here in a minute. Oh, let's see here. What else do we have? 
That's a new to me vehicle. Come in the shop. Um, you know, we close in the winter. So, uh, but this is, this is the shop. We've been assembling some new bikes, getting them ready for the season. Bunch of new giants there. Um, we keep new bikes inside for the most part. Um, I have another little storage area, but this is the the shop workspace. Um, Alec is the fine young gentleman that works for me. And he occupies this space most of the time. But it's a really small little storefront here. Got some helmets. Um, my accessories wall, which is pretty sparse right now. Um, but, you know, the whole idea of Gibbs is just practical bikes for practically anyone. Um, just everyday, all-arounder bikes. Um, I don't really um, attract too many cyclists. We do for on service, you know, for tune-ups and that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I try to keep things inexpensive and practical, just bikes for regular families. Um, this is the back room. This is where I'm going to do all my filming. You can see my tripod there. Um, this is my workspace. For the most part, I let Alec have the main shop. And I got a bike in the stand here. I did about two hours of filming on that yesterday and forgot to plug my microphone in. So I'm new to this. Um, but I'm going to finish that bike up and, and start a video. Um, there's my one ring light. The other one I got zip tied to my, uh, what you call it, tripod. Uh, these are my personal bikes. I plan on doing some bike tours with that. Um, yeah. I mean, this is the the spot. You know, this channel's gonna primarily be bike tune-ups on regular old Trek mountain bikes and hybrids and, oh, there's, uh, there's Moon, Moonlight, Lady Moonlight Duverlane. She's the new kitty. We got her, like, a day after we had to let Wicket go. Wicket was the other Persian. Back here, you can kind of see, yeah, there's Gregor. Sir Gregor Samsa the Orange. He's a beast. We call him Mad Dog. Um, yeah, anyway, this, uh, this channel is going to basically watch me work. Uh, watch me go through bike tune-ups. Some special projects here and there. Uh, try to keep it interesting. It's not necessarily a how-to, but I'm sure you'll learn how to do a lot of things. Uh, it's more of a watch me work. Hey, there's Greg. Hi, Greg. Uh, and, yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. And I certainly enjoy making the videos and sharing, you know, this lifestyle that I've created as a bike farmer. Thank you for watching and, you know, please leave comments and make suggestions on how I can improve things and I'll do my best to accommodate. Bye.